What's up everybody and welcome back to the J World family and welcome to the family and today brings us it is Sunday October 17th and we are here Six Flags New England for the first time for Fright Fest and let me show you right here here we are so we are excited we're gonna see what the houses are like later scare zones there's five houses five or six scare zone shows we are excited let me show you some of the view we got all this cool stuff you got smoke going already so we are excited to see how this day goes. We are trick-or-treating. We're here as a family. We are at the park finally as a whole family for the first time in, in a long time. So we're so excited. So first off, let's start it this way. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Push, push that notification bell so you know when I post the next video. And remember to give the video a big thumbs up because it does help support the channel. And here we go, Fright Fest. Look at this, right over here. All the scary stuff. So let's do this. Six Flags, New England, 2021 Fright Fest. Oh, this is cool. All right, so let me show you. That was so far what we saw right in here in the Maid Hub. We got Spiderwood, so it looks like this will be a cool scare zone. This is gonna be so cool later tonight. I can't wait. Oh, look at this. I built one of these at home. Not as good as that, but this is awesome. We got feet and everything. So we are excited. We're gonna find a restroom because we're gonna get uh, Rowan in her costume. We're gonna start doing some rides and uh, maybe try some Halloween treats and look forward to later in the day. Oh, we got a meet and greet up here already. Bugs Bunny. Oh yes, Bugs Bunny. So let's go see Bugs. All right, so I'm in another scare zone. This is all zombie themed and tonight they're theming this coaster pandemonium. Uh, to zombie theme and then star flyer is also theme type but it's already going backwards it does not go forwards during fright fest it goes backwards and there's flashback and right now we're in the kid area where they will have trick-or-treating which we'll be doing with rowan really soon and they have little things set up for them here a lot of different food choices but we're heading over to wicked cyclone first because we always seem to miss that. It's like one of the kids and right there. This ride is so cool. Good hybrid. Keep upside down, get plenty of air time. So they're doing, which we didn't know all season. Come here. We didn't know all season that they do uh, rider swap uh, for kids. We've been coming here since 2019, didn't know that. First time, and here we are. Now we know we can ride swap. So now we know it's gonna work out better than today. Because um, um, flash passes for you are really expensive. It's 75, 115, and 125 for the day per person. And we have five people, so definitely can't afford that. So definitely, if we can do rider swap, gonna work out perfectly. Scare zone. That looks awesome. And there's pandemonium. We're gonna ride that hopefully in the dark later. All right, so we're gonna head over to the trick-or-treat station for her to go trick-or-treating real quick, Rowan. Um, but I wanna remind you, so if you come to Fright Fest, you have to buy a ticket, or if you have a season pass or membership, that gets you in. But for the haunted house, um, you've got to buy a Fright Pass. And the prices are different depending on the day you come. It's different um, on the days you come. So just know that it's an extra fee for the haunted houses. The park! Your ticket gets you in, gets you all the scare zone shows, everything. But for uh, haunted houses, gotta buy a fright pass. Here's the trick or treat trail. Are you ready, Rowan? Are you ready? Say hi to everybody. Are you ready to go? Hi. You gotta say trick or treat. Trick or treat. Let's do it. Let's go trick or treat. Come on. We're gonna let her lead us through. One. Say trick or treat, thank you. You're very welcome. Enjoy your day. Have a magical one. Bye. Thank you. Come on. There's nobody there. Come on. We gotta keep walking until we find somebody. Come on. Oh, a 
pirate. You gotta say trick or treat to the pirate. <laughs> say thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, come on. All right, so that was cool. It seems like they're missing some staff. Maybe we'll come back later and let her try again later and see if she can get some more candy. Pretty sure she can. They do this from like one to five. All right, so we're about to get the frightening Phantom Fizz. This is where they got in it. So we're excited to try this. So once it's ready, we'll show you. So here's the frightening Phantom Fizz. They give you a skull straw. Here I'm gonna try it. Okay. Ooh, that's really good. Delicious. Kyla's gonna try it now. I'll get another sip while I'm waiting. Ooh. You ready? All right, Kyla, try it. It's really good. They put some corn syrup, like, try it. It's really good. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so they just had a kid dance party in the center of the park, right near the entrance. We just uh, laid in some coffins, which you'll see in a picture. And now we're heading back towards Superman to try to get on that and do Catwoman and Gotham City. Park is packed, and it is a Sunday. It is packed. Um, so... Just know that if you come anytime between now and Halloween, it's probably going to be very, very busy here at Six Flags New England in Agawam, Massachusetts. So here we go to Superman. There it is, way up there. I won't scream on that. So we just got off Cyborg. Uh, a little bit of a long line. But it's like, a, uh, like the Turbana Great Escape, reverse Turbana. They do it inside with lights and everything. So now we're right here. Caroline and Kyler online for Supergirl, but I'm going to show you a quick view of what this ride does. This is the brand new ride that opened here at Six Flags New England for 2021 season. So that's Supergirl. Um, one thing I'll say about Fright Fest here at New England is that if you plan on coming to Fright Fest at Six Flags New England, do not plan on think you're going to get through everything in one day. Um, there's They have a lot here for you to do between the houses, the scare zones. They have a ton of shows you can do. They're, they're Halloween themed. And then the rides and the lines here. You are not getting through everything in one day. There's just no way, unless you plan on buying fast passes. Yeah, you're not fitting in the rides and all that other stuff that's gonna start happening. Um, and it's actually gonna start now. There's a lot of shows that are gonna start going. Um, so I would suggest if you wanna come to Six Flags New England for Fright Fest, that you come two times. Um, I wish we could make it back um, to come another day because uh, there's plenty of stuff that we wanna see and do that we're not gonna be able to. Um, but we're at least gonna get through all the houses. We'll do all the scare zones. It's just the shows We're probably not gonna get to do a lot of those. We will see the awakening at 6. That's when Fright Fest begins The park closes at 9. It opened at 12 today So we're gonna have literally three hours to get through five houses, which is gonna be Quite a bit of a task, but we will hopefully get through all them um, So yeah, that's my Biggest thing for this park. The lines here have been like the few times we've been here this season. The lines here are long Okay, so this behind us, the teacups during Fright Fest, it's called Terror Twist. They have strobes going in there, they have lights going in there, and metal music, awesome. 
but you know of course you got to come back at night to get the real effect then over here they had the tiki ride which is like a music fest uh kind of ride which is also themed it's called voodoo vortex and they have strobes that go off on that at night so here we go into kid supalooza area which they have decorated as you can see they have some ghosts and some pumpkins so we just had some lunch and now we're going to head over to batman and riddler see what the wait times but now we're heading into another scare zone which will be starting up shortly demon district Look at all this over here, all scared. District Junkyard, you gotta walk through that over there. That is really cool. That. And there's the Riddler. And Harley Quinn. All right, so I just got off uh, Batman the ride. It's a floorless coaster. Rode it with Kyla. Now Caroline's getting to ride it with Kyla. We did a, a parrot swap so she could ride. As you can see behind me, there's the first hill. We'll get them coming down the hill. Get a nice video of them coming through this loop right here. A lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of good ride. Smooth. Uh, I was just telling Kyla on the ride, I think this one's smoother than the one in Jersey. Jersey has a Batman ride that's floorless. That one's a lot more rockier. We rode that last year. But this one's actually really smooth. It doesn't bounce you around a lot. So we're gonna get some video of them going up. They're loading up the ride now. And then we're gonna head over to Riddler. And then it'll be just about that time, the witching hour, that Fright Fest will begin for the evening events. And we'll be doing the scare zones and the houses. And we are excited. But if you're on this side of the park, when you come in the park, this is on the right side. You got Batman, you got the Riddler, you got Harley Quinn. The swings now are closed, they have the Joker. But here they go, they're getting ready to go. So let's see Caroline and Kyla have a good time on Batman the Ride. They're right there on the end, third row. Okay, this was the other ride I was talking about earlier tonight when it gets dark. There'll be strobes and music. So this is one of the rides they theme for uh, Fright Fest, Voodoo Vortex. So go check it out. So now we're gonna head to where they do the Awakening, which is back on the other side of the park near Goliath, which is a coaster that hasn't ran in like two years, um, which will probably be going in the off season. It's finally gonna probably go. So here we go, we're gonna head that way which right now we're gonna be heading through a scare zone, which will be shortly Carnival. Are there clowns dressed in oh, oh, there's clowns. Clowns, I can't wait. We got all the clown stuff. Uh, it's me, I wanna know what that is. I'm looking forward to seeing if somebody hops out of that. That is really cool. Eligible purchases in and out of the park and redeem them for park admission and more. Roller coasters, rewards, the park one being six flags rewards. He said it's kind of So yeah, this would be a cool area. So on this side of the park, there's two scare zones, Carnival and the Demon uh, section. There's no haunted houses on the right side of the park. They're all on the left side of the park. So we only got to come back to this side for the two scare zones. But there we go, we got the car of Carnival, right there. Okay, so this is where the awakening is. And this was the coaster I was talking about, Elias. Yeah, this coaster is not barely ran since 2018. In 2019, it might have ran like two to five times. So there's been rumors that it will go and will be gone by next year, but we don't know yet. So we'll have to wait until the off-season to see if this will actually leave. But we're getting ready for the awakening and here are all the scare actors getting ready to perform. Looks like you all received the message. Come on, move forward, pack it in. We're not gonna bite, we're not gonna bite. Not yet, at least. Thank you all for coming to the awakening. Our monsters will be awakening soon, just to... <laughs> Only two minutes until the awakening. Thank you. Skies extinguished. We're nothing. 
nothing is left but shadow and smoldering okay. brimstone. There is but a light guiding you from the shivering cold, ushering you, striding into the gates of hell. And that light leading you is the one known as... Mayor Slayer, I thought you had gone back, back to my grave. Not a chance when there's a foul and fetid imposter on my stage. Abominations, onward!
Awakening. That was awesome. That was a good show. So now we're going to head to our first house. Like I said, they have five houses. Um, I don't know the names off the top of, the, top of my head. I will give you the names when we get to the house. So we're going to head to our first house, which is over here in the little western section where the Houdini house is. And then we're going to do scare zones and go over to the other houses. We also decided, because the park is so packed, we decided to spend money and get fast passes, which were $20 a piece. So that's not bad. So we can get enough time, because now we only have three hours till the park closes. So we want to make sure we have enough time to do all the houses, all the scare zones, and just enjoy whatever we want to enjoy. So here we go over to the first house to enjoy Fright Fest. Look at all the pumpkins in the trees. Look at this. Here we go, we got fire going and bloody water, and smoke, and we got skulls. Okay, so the first house we're doing is Midnight Mansion. And look, oh, look at the horse. And this is Rowan's first haunted house ever. And they don't suggest these houses for under 13. Well, uh, you know. All right, so we just got out of Midnight Mansion. Hold on, Rowan, come here, Rowan. How'd you do in your first haunted house ever? She told the monsters to eat her sister too. So that was good job. Uh, she did a good job in the first house. She, little, she, she was like questioning everything, but really handled it really well. And that house was awesome. A lot of good scares in there, a lot of good jump scares. So Midnight Mansion, so far so good. So now we're gonna head over to the other haunted houses, which are actually all in the same section. So here we go. All right, so we're about to go in the zombie zone, uh, scare zone. That truck's ripping apart, so here we go. Look at it. Okay, it wasn't a lot of scare actors in this zone. So it wasn't that scary. So zombie scare zone, a little uh. A little uh. All right, so we're heading back to the other four houses. They're all in the same area. You can come to the kid area on the left-hand side of the park, and they're down in this pavilion area. Let me find. So here are the houses we got coming up. Nightmare, Slasher Circus 3D, Terror Tales, and the Aftermath, Zombies Revenge. So here we go. All right, so we're crossing over the spooky bridge with mist. It's spooky. We just did our second house. It's called Nightmare, okay? Right? I was in the front of the group with Caroline and Rowan, okay? These are the first three. Every scare actor got me in there. Every single one. And then they had a snake room, and I hate snakes. I mean, I held one on my honeymoon finally for the first time, but I am still terrified of snakes. They had this whole room full of... And then they pointed at the actress to let them know that I was terrified, and she kept coming after me with snakes. I... Woo! That house, I give that a five because they got me the whole time. I even swore in there, and I was trying to be good because there's children. Yeah. Yep, couldn't do it. Got me every time. So, Nightmare... Out of five skulls, gets five because they got me every time. What? So now we're heading to Terror Tales in the Wicked Woods. Ooh, this seems interesting. So here we go. We'll tell you how this one is. Okay, so we just got done with Terror Trails. Tales. Tales, whatever. Which is an outdoor, Which is an outdoor uh, attraction. S decor was cool. Costumes are cool. Scare factor, though, I think they needed more actors. I give them a one out of five skulls. I give them a two. I just, and a one at best. I give them a one out of a five. That one they need to, like, there was the scare actors are in there. Like, they could have done a lot better. Um, yeah, one out of five on that one. So let's see what this next one is. Um, let's see what it's called: the aftermath, zombie revenge. Oh, here we go. All right, so we just got out of Aftermath, Zombies Revenge. Um, I give the actors inside credit. I feel like they're letting too many people on the trail at once, so the actors are hitting like certain people, but then when you're at the back, they're not getting you enough. So we kind of pulse back on our own, so we were by ourselves to get a couple scares, and they did all right. Um, but yeah, I give it a, I think I give it a two skulls out of five. So we're going to our last house, and then we're gonna do all the scare zones. So our last house is uh, Slasher Circus 3D. No. We're excited for this one. I'm hoping this I'm one 
This is our last house. I'm hoping this house really uh, brings us back because the last two houses have been kind of. So I'm hoping this house brings us back up to a uh, heart ticking. So here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, so we just got out of Slasher Circus 3D. That was good. That was good. I give that one probably mm, a four out of five. So four skulls out of five skulls for Slasher Circus 3D. They went so after we, me. They went after she, she loves clowns. I hate clowns. I love clown houses. I think they're awesome. Um, so overall, this house, Slasher Circus 3D, Nightmare, and the mansion was the best houses of the night. Um, the other two could have been better, but I think they also need more actors. Um, but overall, good night of houses. Now it's time for the scare zones. So let's see how that's gonna go. All right, so we're about to walk into a scare zone, Carnival. Here we go. I don't know what happened. They were all standing off the side talking to management. So I wonder if something happened with like them trying to scare people and somebody did something stupid. Um, smoke's starting to blow again over there. So when we go back through, we'll hopefully get some scares. So that was weird. All right, so now we're gonna head over near Riddler to the Demon District. We'll walk through there and see what that's like. And then we're gonna do the Terror Twist. All right, here we go, going into a scare zone. <laughs> That's right, and with this bed of nails, we like to create what we call Satan's Sandwich. The two Slice to red and me as a poor slab of white meat. Let's go home. Careful. Here we go. So gently. So gently we go. Okay, as you saw a freak show. So we're in the other scare zone. And nothing happened. So I don't know what's going on and why there's like no scare acting going on. So I'm a little, I don't know. There's a few actors who are doing like nothing. I can't give it, their scare zones are not good at all. I don't know what happened. I don't know. There's just no scare actors in the scare zone. So that was a dud. So we're going to go on uh, Terror Twist. I don't know what's going on. Um, two scare actors, the rest scare actors standing off to the side, they're not doing anything. Car horn. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what happened. I think something might've happened with some guests and the scare actors. Cause I heard one of the managers talking to one of the scare actors. So it seems like somebody did something, uh, a guest. And they're trying to find that guest. Um, I'll admit there's a lot of people here, lots of people, a lot of young people. And honestly, Six Flags, you need to make it a rule. These people, kids should be accompanied by parents or guardian, somebody, an adult. Um, so, yeah. So hopefully the scare zone on the way out has something going on. Don't know. 
Um, but we're gonna just call Caroline and Gage because they went over to Superman. We're gonna see if they're on it yet or what's going on. And then we're gonna call it a night. And then we'll give you all, give you my final, final rating for the day. So here we go. Here comes the final scare zone on the way out because we're gonna head out. Uh, that screaming you hear in the background is a coffin salesman. Oh, look at her, she got a skull. That's her ex-husband. That might be me. Okay. Look at Ron. He's got a piece of steak or leg or foot. But see, foot. You like foots too? Look at. <laughs> oh, I want to let you all know again, I said it on my last video. So I'm getting very, very close to my first 100 subscribers. So what I am doing is if I can get 100 subscribers by October 31st, so that's in two weeks, if I can get 100 subscribers by October 31st, write in the description below, and I'll put your name in for a drawing if we can get to 100 subscribers, and then I will get, pick one person, you will get an, a prize from the J World family. So let's do it. Okay, so that's, this is it. We're gonna let uh, Rowan and Kyla go on the carousel. But we're going to call it a night. So, overall, let me rate Six Flags New England here in Massachusetts Fright Fest. I think the scare zones were cool decorated, but tonight, going through them, there was, like, no actors. So I don't know what happened there, why their actors are not doing anything. Something must have happened. Um, houses, overall, I think the five houses they had were good. Two of them could have been better, I think, if they had more actors. So, overall, out of five skulls, out of five skulls, I'm gonna give Six Flags New England three and a half skulls for Fright Fest. And to compare it to Great Escape's Fright Fest, I'm giving Great Escape overall, so, you know, because I've been there for twice now, I'm giving Great Escape in Lake George, New York, four skulls out of five. So that's my rating for these two parks. I will say this, remind you, if you do come to Fright Fest, it's, you can't do this all in one day. They have shows, the haunted houses, the rides, the, the, how packed this park gets, you will not be able to do it all in one day. Fast passes for the Fright Fest. Get a fast, well yes. If you get the passes for the for the houses, get a fast pass because you will not be able to do the houses. Like we only had three hours tonight. I know if we didn't buy those fast pass, we would have not made it through all five houses. Um, so definitely buy, and it's $20, buy a fast pass for the houses. So we hope you enjoyed the video. We had a great day. It was a great family day here. This will be our last visit to Six Flags New England for Fright Fest, but we will be coming back to Six Flags New England during the holiday season because here at this park and in Jersey, they do a holiday festival of lights. So we will be coming back for that. I don't know what kind of rides will be open. I don't know what they'll have, but I've heard it's very beautiful. So we're excited about doing that. So we will be back to this park. Um, Great Escape, I know I said we might not probably be going back, but we might sneak a little visit in maybe towards the end of the month. We might have a little bit of time to go back for a few hours and visit, but if not, it's been a good season uh, with everything coming back. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give the video a big thumbs up because it does help support the channel. And we will see you on the next episode of the J World Family. And remember, you're always family with the J World Family. Good night.